everyone, my name is Zena and I want to be your youth MP for many reasons. One being, I want to be the strong voice that you deserve. First, I want to create events where schools and colleges can come together because I believe meeting new people not only helps develop life skills that will help you in the future, it's also a lot of fun. Secondly, I intend to educate you on the dark side of social media and the effects it can have on your future because we all use it and you don't want something you do now to affect your future career. Finally, because we have all either witnessed it or experienced it, I want to get to the root cause of bullying and work with you to help prevent it from getting worse. As I'm sure we can all agree, it isn't right or nice. I love life as it's fun and eventful and I believe as youth we should have a say in it. So help give me the opportunity to make that difference. It's your voice, your choice, so vote Xena. Hi, I'm Nat. I'm 14 and I want to be your next youth MP. I believe young people should have their own say in national events and that's why as your youth MP I would get involved in the national campaign to lower the voting age to 16 so you can have your own say. In addition, young people should be prepared for their future and I believe proper sex education in schools is vital for this. So as your youth MP I would push schools to cover the topics we really need for our future. Finally. I would strive to build a Bolton that represents you by promoting events like Bolton Pride so you can be proud of your own identity. Vote for now. Help me make a Bolton you can be proud of. Hi, I'm Jess and I have three goals to make a better writer Bolton as I believe your voice matters. My first goal is to create and promote enjoyable activities and events so that you can express yourself in a community that we can be proud of. My next goal is to work with schools to make a supportive and positive learning environment because I believe schools should be less like a grade factory and prioritise the real needs of the students. Finally, I will highlight the services and resources available to help for one in five young people with poor mental health, as I know the work being done isn't good enough. Did you know 75% of young people don't get the help they need? This needs to change. I'm experienced, I'm determined, and I will make the change we can believe in. So vote for me, because it's our voice, our vision, let's do it. Hi, I'm Rebecca and as you can see, I want to be your youth MP. I need your help to achieve my goals. Too many children are getting hurt online. Due to this, I want to make sure the children know it's okay to report cyberbullying and make sure people get the help that they need before it gets too serious. Anxiety and depression are two of the most common mental illnesses, but most people do not know how to help the people who suffer from it. I will push for schools to know the necessary information so people know where to get help and how they should go about it. Youth clubs help children build confidence and get a chance to meet new people. That is why as Youth MP, I will raise awareness of these youth clubs so people know what to do if they've got nowhere to go. These issues mean a lot to me, but I still want to know what you want me to fight for. Together we can make a change, because together we are unstoppable. Hi, my name is Molly and I have a passion to make a difference for the young people of Bolton. If elected, I will work with local schools to encourage them to teach us the things that actually matter, such as independent finance. This is because I believe that all young people should be equipped with the vital skills that they will need to conquer the future. I will also raise aspirations by promoting the opportunities that are available for young people in Bolton. Too many areas in Bolton are classed as deprived, including my own. However, I believe that all young people, no matter where they are from, should be equally inspired to achieve and succeed in life. Finally, I will challenge the stereotypical view of young people. As Chair of Bolton Youth Council, I have seen firsthand the amazing contributions that young people have to offer. However, 
Too often, achievements like those are overlooked in order to focus on actions that fit into the older generation's biased view of us. This needs to change. So vote for me, because even though young people only make up 20% of today, we are 100% of our future. Hi, I'm Deborah. I'm 15 and I'm going to tell you why I should be your youth MP. If elected, I promise to work with organizations such as Greater Manchester Higher in order to make sure information about the options available to young people after education is more accessible, such as higher level apprenticeships and work placements. Secondly, I believe that extracurricular activity, both in and outside the classroom, are essential to enhance and engage skills. However, not all young people have access to these services. So if elected, I promise to make sure we can all benefit from these services. And finally, Bolton is a vibrant and multicultural community, and these are attributes which should be celebrated. If elected, I promise to be a part of the creation of a more inclusive Bolton, where all young people can feel accepted, no matter their differences. Vote Deborah, as small changes will create big differences. Hi, I'm Jonathan, and I know that we need change to get the best out of our lives. With a little bit of determination and the right choices, we can do it. The first thing that needs to change is decision making. It's our future, but it's always adults or the high achievers that decide how it pan out. That's just not right. If you vote for me, I'll make sure that all young people have a voice in how things are run. The second thing that needs to change is the attitude to mental health. We all have mental health, so why don't we talk about it? If you will let me as your youth MP, I'll continue a campaign that I've worked on for two years and I'll make sure that all young people can openly discuss their mental health. And finally, I'll work with schools and youth clubs to make them more equipped to deal with the struggles we face, like bullying and exam stress. There's already things in place, but they're just not good enough. Vote for me, because I know that we're all different, but we all deserve to be heard. Hi, I'm Ella. I want to be your youth MP because I want young people to make a change for Bolton and I have the ambition and positivity to make it happen. Mental health is a massive struggle daily for many young people and can affect anyone, so I will work with mental health services to provide support and awareness of suffering. We all want to pass our GCSEs, but if we don't get the grades we need, we can't achieve our ambitions, right? Wrong. As your youth MP, I will strive to celebrate our talents which don't get recognised in school. If elected, I'll change the fact that 50% of youth feel unsafe in public. I will work with our police to improve Bolton to be a place that we can feel comfortable in. With your help, I can make a town to be proud of. So vote Ella, because we are not just youth, we are the future of Bolton. Hi, my name is Louise. I am passionate about the importance of emergency CPR being taught to every young person. This is why, as your youth MP, my first point is to encourage that every school has a defibrillator and every young person has the opportunity to learn these potentially life-saving skills. My second point is to represent your voice at the Youth Vision Conference. This is where young people decide the future of our town, Bolton. My final promise to you is that I will promote young people to source important life skills, such as how to open a bank account or get a mortgage. So vote for me, because if you want change, you want me. Hi, my name is Dion, and I'm about to tell you why I should be your youth MP. Firstly, I want to reduce stigma around mental health, because no one should be silent and we should all speak out about different problems in our lives. My next point is to highlight the hurdles that young people in care face. I myself am a fostered young person in Bolton and I want to say it's okay to stand out and be different. And I want to go into schools to raise awareness about foster care and adoption and topics that surround it. 
My final point is that I want to be a campaigner for the LGBTQ plus community and that it's okay to be who you are and what you stand for. And I will also try to put across more pride based events in Bolton. I want to make Bolton a better place for all young people. So vote for me for a future we can all be proud of.